Hey guys, how's it going? I just wanted to make a quick video about Compact GUI. Now, Compact GUI is a program which is going to help you save hard drive space. Now, we know the feeling, you know, you've just bought an SSD, but it's just not big enough for all of the Steam games that you've you've loaded onto it. Now, Compact GUI comes in if you've got Windows 10 because it can uh, it can help you compress down these these folders, these games without any performance loss and it's also tra completely transparent to to you when you're opening and closing these these games or looking inside the files so it's it's really great because it's uh once you've compressed the folder it's actually really easy to just continue as normal so for example you see that um here it's, it's saying fortnite goes down to 18.8 gig down to um 10 gigabytes and they have a um full a full database, a full library in the in the wiki list uh, that shows the compression rates that you're going to get. So I'm just going to show you a quick example with Insurgency. So I have Insurgency installed, and it says it's it's originally nine gigabytes, and it comes down to five point nine. So let's just find Insurgency in my Steam library, which is here. I'll select that folder. It's going to load up the uh, application, and let's analyze the folder. Uh, it's just quickly doing it now, analyzing. Now, while it's doing that, we can look through the the list, and basically, there's a, a massive wiki list uh, of all of the games that they've tested, and also it will tell you the 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 kind of savings that you get. So, if you see something that's green in this list, for example, uh, Absolvo, you get an 86% uh, compression rate um, for. Um, Let's have a look down here. For Assassin's Creed Unity, you can get 45% space saving down from uh, down 22 gigabytes to 27 gigabytes, down from the original 49 gigabytes. Uh, that's pretty good. So Insurgency 2 is just analyzed the folder, and we can now uh, compress the folder. So let's try and do that here. Uh, how do I do that? This folder is not compressed. Oh yeah, it's here. So I just press this button here, compress folder, and it's going to compress that game down to 5.5. So let's just see that working here. Um, you can find this over at this this GitHub address, and I'll put this in the link um, so you can find it yourselves. Um, there's some background there. There's some more technical information about how it can compress the game or compress the the folder that it's looking at. And uh, there's also some tests on on how long the compression takes to uh, to uh, finish. So I have a uh, 6600K processor i5. Uh, so it's taking not too long, but it's it's not really really fast, I would say. Uh, but my processor is working at 4.7 gigahertz, so it's uh, it's probably okay. Now they recommend that. Express 8K is, or just use the default compression type and you'll get a decent uh, speed to compression ratio. So we're getting to the end now and Insurgency has just compressed down to, let's see. Yep, so it's it's reduced the size to by 32% and I've saved a few gigabytes there. So check out that website. Um, look at the wiki articles if you have games installed on your SSD and you want to uh, squash them down a bit. As I said, the performance is still very, very good, even in the in the compressed uh, it, when when the folder is compressed. And you can always use this program again to decompress the folder or uncompress it, and uh, it will be back to its original format. Something to note is that if new files are added to the folder, let's say I'm playing Insurgency 2 and maybe I download a DLC or something and it, it saves it to the same same Steam folder, those files won't be compressed automatically. So it only acts upon the, the files that you have that you selected uh, when you loaded the, the, uh, the program up. So that's something to bear in mind if, you're, if you keep on installing and, and uh, reinstalling games in the future. Okay, I hope, uh, hope this video has been useful and... Make sure you subscribe if you like my content and I'll see you guys next time.